All right, Shalom. All right, this is the brother Gamal Yala of GMS ATL. All right, giving all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles, the elders that rule well. And also, Shalom to all the Akim that are pushing out this truth with sincerity. All right, um, I'm going to come at you with another lesson. Um, this lesson is pretty much just going to be. Um, you know about dealing with your your family and your, your uh, mainly your parents. All right, when you're in this truth, man, um, and the reason why the, the spirit had me do this is because I just uh, earlier tonight I had a long you know talk with my dad, you know, and um, I don't even really talk to my dad very often, you know. I, I probably haven't haven't had a real conversation with him in, in a couple of years, you know, um, but tonight, you know, I went over there, um, cause I had to handle some business and, um, you know, uh, we got to talking, you know, um, one thing that, that one issue my parents have had with me for the longest was that I, uh, I quit going to college. All right. So I went to, I went to school for a little while. And then, you know, um, you know, I just discontinued, you know, when I when I started getting heavy into the into the truth, you know, I was, you know, um, I. I went for a little while. I, I was really on and off school. All right, I went for like maybe uh, I, I almost went for like maybe four or five years on and off. I think I went for like maybe a year or two and I dropped out. And that was when I started waking up to the truth um and then uh, i dropped out for a little while and then i came back almost almost a year ago i was in the truth at that time but really i was just taking advantage of it you know because you get student loans and you know that was really you know i i was just taking advantage of it. i didn't really plan to graduate and i was just you know collecting them student loans Anyway, so, uh, you know, my, my so-called father, all right, we, we, uh, we got to talking and, you know, he pretty much has the mindset of every, um, every Jake out there or every, uh, every parent, if you will, all right, is that you, you should go to, you should go to college, all right, you should better yourself in this society, all right, and, you know, that's bullshit. You know, I was telling him, you know, I didn't really get too deep into the scriptures. I, I, I really didn't um, pull up any scriptures. I was really just paraphrasing the Bible. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really get too deep. I was just dealing with him on a, on a, on a you know, just scratching the surface, you know. But, um, you know, uh, I was telling him, you know, this school shit, man, this, this place is on its way out, man. You know, because he got to talk to me, he was saying, you know, you got to go to school and you got to look down the road. And, you know, you got to set up your future, you know, and, and you know, he was like, I'm looking at you and, and I just see that you don't, you're not looking to, to advance yourself, you know, shit like that. So, you know, I was, I pretty much told him, I was like, look, man, you know, I, I said, this place is on its way down. All right. You know, and, and. You know, I don't I don't look for success. I don't I don't need to be successful in this society because, you know, my parents always bring up, you know, especially my mom. You know, she'll be like uh, she'll be like you. You uh, you out here making, you know, working a regular job and, you know, you could be going to school making, you know, 50, 60 K a year, you know, and then you could you could be doing better, you know, and then, you know, they always mention you know, what you going to do when you have children and, and what you going to do, you know, in the long run. And, and, um, and, you know, just shit like that. And, 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 you know, my dad even mentioned, you know, getting married. I told him I don't want to get married, you know, and that's, that's a, you know, he took it as, oh, so you don't want to have children. I was like, nah, I want to have, you know, really, I don't want to have children in this kingdom. 
you know, but but if I were to have children in this kingdom, I would not be married according to to American standards. All right. So anyway, the point that I'm that I that I'm stressing here, brothers, is is you know, um, your parents not gonna get it, man. You know, um, actually, I got a precept on that. Hold on, bear with me one second, Akim. This is uh, this is Matthew nine, verse seventeen. All right. Neither okay. Uh, no man. I'm gonna start at sixteen. No man putteth a piece of new cloth on unto an old garment. For that which is put in to fill it up taketh from the whole garment, and the rent is made worse. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break, and the wine runneth out, and the bottles perish. But the new wine into new bottles, and both were preserved. Alright, so you see that, you know, your parents, you know, a lot of, a lot of older people... They're not going to get this thing, you know, um, because they they feel like, you know, they got it figured out. You know, they feel like, you know, they, they're not going to listen to you because, you know, they they feel like you're younger in age and, oh, you don't know nothing. And, and um, you know, I'm, I'm a lot wiser than you, you know, because I've been living longer, you know. So it's like, you, you know, they look at it like, what can you tell me? You know, and, and they also say, you know, uh, they also believe in the system. You know, a lot of a lot of these older Jakes, you know, they believe in the system, and they support this white man. You know, so um, you know, the this this precept it says, you know, you can't put old wine into new bottles, all right, so just like that old saying, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, man, you know, so, you know, my dad, my dad is of age, my dad is up there, he's in the 60s, you know, my dad's old as shit, so, I mean, not that old, you know, but, but, uh, you know, he, he, he's, he's stuck in his ways, man, you know, he, he's not gonna change, he's already, you know, joined to the society, you know, he believes in the society. And, and you know, my dad is really, he's, he's really somewhat of Uncle Tom. All right. Um, because, you know, he, he was in the military. All right. He fought for the country. All right. And, um, you know, he was, he was, you know, one of the top, I don't know, I don't know what rank he was, but he was, you know, he was he was one of the, he was a kind of a high ranked officer in the military, and um, you know he he just supports the society. He feels like he did the country. Uh, you know you know any Jake that that they fought for America. You know they they all kind of they really join to the society. They support the society. All right, they they uh, they back this country. All right, and I was telling him, I was like, you know, this place is on its way down. He was like, how so? And I was like, well, you know, because my dad, he watches a lot of uh, a lot of TV, a lot of local news and, you know, CNN. And he watches TV. That's where he gets his news and information from. And I tell him, I'm like, look, you know, you don't you don't look at international media. You don't look at third party news outlets. So you don't know you don't you you don't really know what's going on outside of what the TV tells you, you know. You don't understand. You don't realize the things that I'm telling you. You know that this place is on its way out. I, I also mentioned America's infrastructure, you know, and how it's beyond repair. All right, and and they won't repair it. 
all right? And, you know, he was just finding excuses to, to, to back up, to back America, all right? And I was telling him, like, you know, this, this place is finished, man, you know? And um, let's see. Let me pull up another preset, man. Now this is uh okay. We're gonna go to Matthew six and nineteen. All right. Now this this precept, you know, cause cause my dad is pretty much saying, you know, you need to look ten years from now. All right, and he even mentioned this precept. He said, uh, you, you gotta, he was like, you gotta have a foundation. You know, you, you gotta have a, um, you know, scriptures say, you know, when you build a house, a house, you know, you gotta have a foundation. You know, just paraphrasing that precept. And, you know, he, don't, he doesn't understand what that's saying. What that's talking about is the truth. All right, H having a foundation in this truth and being rooted and being rooted and grounded in this truth, not just. Damn, you know, the way he's taking it is, you know, you got to have foundation as far as uh, your, your, um, your well-being, your, your, your um, living conditions. All right. But that's not what that's talking about. That's talking about in a spiritual sense. All right. This is Matthew 6 and 19. Lay up for yourselves. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt where thieves break through and steal all right so lay not up for yourselves treasures on earth all right because my my dad you know he's talking about he's he was talking to me about money you know and 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 making it in this society and and you know being somebody all right um, and, he's, and it says, 20, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break nor steal. All right, so, you know, us being in this truth, man, we, we, we laying up, we, we storing our spiritual treasures. All right, that, that's what we're doing, man, through these works that we're doing. All right, through the wisdom that that we're acquiring, all right, we see that this place is on its way out. So that so we're focused on the the heavens or the kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. That's what we're focused on. We're focused on, you know, we're not focused on uh, this 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 earth. All right, and also got another precept. All right. Let's see. This is uh, Second Corinthians four and eighteen. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, and the things which are not seen are eternal. All right, so we can't be focused about, you know, we can't be focused on, you know, getting, being successful, running a business, all right, getting a good paying job, all right, going to college, getting a degree, all right, we, we can't be concerned with that, man, because, you know, the most high, the most high is not dealing with that stuff, man. I mean, you know, you, you got a job to, to take care of your, you know, the Most High, you know, he understands you need a job, all right, and if if the Most High is dealing with you, he's going to make sure you, you're taken care of, he's going to make sure you get a pretty good paying job, you know, you're not going to be, you know, making, you're not going to be rich, you know, but but if the Most High dealing with you, he's going to make sure you're okay, you know, but we can't be looking to be no top guys, no rich guys, no you know, no, uh, you know, there's no big successful Jakes. All right. And that's what my dad thinks. All right. He, 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 you know, we, 
really, when you talk to the average Jake, man, it's really frustrating, man. Because, I mean, how can you, you got to hide this truth, man. You got to really hide this truth. Because, you know, to, to the average Jake, man, when you explain to them, look, man, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be, I don't need to make a lot of money. I don't need to, you know, make it in this society. I'm not trying to do that. They're going to look at you like, what? You crazy? Because most Jakes are on that are on that mindset, man, of making it and, and prospering. All right? That's cuz they don't that's all they have. They don't they don't see they don't see this truth. All right? They're looking to have they're looking to 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 have their kingdom in America. All right? That's where they want to have their kingdom. Cuz they believe this is just this is just it. They're, they're not spiritual. They're not looking ahead. Because essentially, I am looking ahead. I'm looking at... Because I see what's coming for America. You know? And I see that this place is on its way out. So I am I am looking ahead. You know, my dad was saying, you're not looking at the future. I am looking at the future. I know what's going to happen to this place. And I know, you know, what to look forward to after that. Which is the kingdom of heaven. You know, but, you know, when you talk to Jake, man, you, you got to damn play along like as if as if you want to make it. You know, yeah, I want to I wanna do this. And I want to do that. You know, um, you know, especially when you're talking to a chick, you know, you, you kind of want to impress her. And, you, you know, you might be like, you know, hey, you know, I got this going on. And, you know, a bitch might, you might meet a bitch and she asks you. You know, so so what are your goals? What are you what are you trying to what are you doing? You know? And you gotta play it off like you really give a shit, man. Like like you really wanna you know, even at your job, I get a lot of people at my job, so so are you in school? What are you you know, what are you what are you doing? You know? Even when you know, uh when you get around your family, not your immediate family, but you get around your uh your cousins and and you, your uh, outside family, all right, you know, all that small talk and shit, <laughs> you know, so wh what are you doing these days, you know, you in school, you know, what are you, what are you looking forward to doing, and, and, and you gotta just pretty much lie, man, because they gonna look at you crazy if you say, oh, well, you know, I don't, I don't really want to do shit in this society, I don't really want to be shit in this society, I, I just really want to, you know, do the do the work of the Lord, and that's it, man. You know, I, I really want to get up out of here. I'm not, I'm not looking to, you know, go to school. Fuck school. You know, so, you know, that's just like I said. That's just the mindset that Jake has, man. Every Jake has, man. Every Jake has that mindset, like, you know. They're trying to make it and they're trying to do better and, and be happy and, you know, all that shit. Because they don't see this place as, they don't see themselves being enslaved. And that's the problem with my dad. He doesn't see himself being enslaved. You know? He doesn't see it. And, and then he said, he even said, um, he also said, uh, let me see. He said, slavery is a condition. You know, and and that uh, that you know, you you're only in slave like slavery is a is a um, pretty much is all in your head. Like like, you know, you're 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 enslaved. It you know according to your how your mind like in other words, you know if you free your mind then you're no longer a slave. That's bullshit, man, because you ignore reality. You know, if you um, if you a slave, all right. Or how about this? If, if you got a if you got a free mind, you know, our, and essentially us being in this truth, our minds are are free. All right, we have freed our mind because we have something to look forward to, which is the kingdom. So we're not stuck on this plane. All right, so. You know, we have, we do, we have freed our mind, but we're still stuck in this, in this hell. 
You know, we're still bound to this flesh. So, so we're still enslaved. We still got social securities. We still got birth certificates. We still got to uh, obey the so-called white man's laws. All right, we still enslaved. You know, but most Jakes, you know, they don't see that. They they just you know okay with that. Now this is uh, I got another preset. This is uh, John twelve and twenty five. He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his life in this world shall, shall keep it unto eternal unto life eternal. We'll read that again. He that loveth he that loveth his life shall lose it. All right. So you see that, you know. So these Jakes that 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 love their life and they love America and, and um, you know they they're okay they're content with the society they're gonna lose their lives man. It says and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. So us being in this truth man we hate it here. We really do. We're ready to get the fuck up out of here because this is not where it's at. This is now, you know, being being under this white man's captivity, um, you know, fucking just going to work every day, all right, um, having to pay bills, all right, um, driving around your car fucked up, always in a always in a tough financial situation, all right, you know, your your woman might be giving you hell. Your your um, your family might be giving you hell. All right, this is this is not where it's at. And then and then you gotta look at these fucking crackers. You gotta fucking look at these homosexuals. All right, prospering. You gotta be friendly with them. Smile. You know you may not smile with them, but you gotta be you know PC with them. You know you don't wanna you can't just cuss them out or put them to death. All right, that's your job, you know. So, you know, we hate it here, man. We can't be ourselves, man. You know, we 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 not we can't rule. So we really can't be ourselves, man. We just really gotta wait on the Hawabashi Miyawashada to deliver us out of this place, man. But, you know, um, you know, your parents not gonna see it, man. Bottom line, man. Your parents, I'm just speaking, you know, for the majority. You know, most most of your parents, man, they're not gonna get it. So really, you know, it's it's best it's best that you really just keep it to yourself, man. Because the Most High chose you. He didn't choose your family. He didn't choose your parents. You know, you parents are really stiff neck, man. You're really stiff neck. This is uh, Proverbs 14, verse 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. All right, and that's my dad, man. You know, what he's doing seems right, you know, um, believing in society and and. You know, he even mentioned that he, um, you know, he he feels like if you have a lot of money, you know, you should give back to the to the to the world. You know, give back to the children and, and raise raise up children and teach children and you know, um, you know, but that's he just thinks carnal, man. It's just really carnal. You know, you're not spiritual. And he he also lacks faith. My dad lacks faith. All right, because because even the um, a lot of things in the Bible, he he couldn't grasp. He he was just like, well, I don't understand how. So he was like, he don't understand how Moses split the sea. 
And, you know, he was said he was watching a special. Um, and they was talking about, you know, how, oh, well, you know, Moses probably, you know, these so-called scientific experts or whatever, they were saying, well, Moses, you know, he, he probably knew the tides. So he probably didn't split the sea. Um, he probably just knew 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 the uh, knew the tides of the Red Sea, and you know he he knew that they were gonna make it through during that specific time. But nah, man, that's that's you know he basically trying to trying to find um, trying to find you know trying to find explanations for for the the how do I say um, for the out there stories in the Bible I don't mean out there I mean um, you know you know the you know the stories of the Bible that are kind of hard to, that are that are uh, hard to believe all right now I don't need I don't need no explanation I don't need no scientific explanation of the Bible or, or you know I don't need some so-called white man talking about you know oh well this is this is probably how he did it nah man because this is faith man I believe on the scriptures man the most high it you know if, if they said he he parted the seas then he parted the seas the most high most high created miracles man during that time. You know, but they probably gonna, you know, try to. They probably did some special about, oh, well, Yahweh Shai wasn't no healer. You know, he he just, you know, they trying to de they trying to denounce the works of the Most High, man. That's basically what they're doing, man, because they don't believe in the Most High, right? So anyway, uh, I think I got one more precept, a couple more precepts. Let me see. All right. All right. This is Matthew twelve and forty nine. Let me get it. Matthew twelve and forty nine. Twelve and forty nine. And he stretched forth his hand forward toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same as my brother and sister and mother. So, you know, I'm going to wrap it up with that. You know, but but your family, man, they're they not, they not going to get it. They're not here for you. You know, all we really got is our brothers, man. You know, your your parents, more than likely, you know, they, they want you to make it in the society. They want you to, to be like them and go to college and all that bullshit and make it. All right. So, you know, with that, I'm going to say Shalom and all praise to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Shalom.